May I speak with you for a while, Victoria? Of course, Samuel. Victoria, I was in Robert's study, and I saw a picture of a man that I had never seen before. Is it someone from our family? A picture? You shouldn't have entered that room, Samuel. Robert does not like anyone to go in there, not even me. I merely tried to find something that would help us figure out where Robert could be. His things are all in order. Oh, good. He would be angry if he found out that you had been in his study. That picture is a portrait of our ancestor, Lothar Gordon. It was he who founded the sanatorium where Robert works. And when was that? Some two hundred years ago. I'm not exactly certain. Ashbury has been a hospital of some kind for quite some time. Hmm. Tell me more about Lothar Gordon. He was chief doctor in a hospital for the mentally disordered for many years. In those days, however, they did not speak about therapy or medication. He would probably have carried on with his work if he had not fallen ill. What was his ailment? Over time, that place completely absorbed him. All those mad minds that he was spending days and nights with. In the end, he broke down, and his mind succumbed to insanity too. He died as one of those he was helping. A truly sad end. When Lothar died, where did they bury him? I see you are testing my memory. As far as I know, his body remained there as he wished. They buried him in a modest grave behind the sanatorium. Later, that place turned into a graveyard. Many who died within the walls of the sanatorium found their rest there. What was in the Ashbury building before it became a sanatorium? I have no idea. I was never interested in that place. Why are you asking about such a thing, Samuel? I just wanted to know. It's not important. I think on one occasion, Robert mentioned there used to be a hospital for cholera patients there. That building has a terrible past indeed. Would you please excuse me now, Samuel? It's Samuel Gordon. Please, open the gate. There are no names on these, just illegible remains of memorial epitaphs. Lewis Bate, 1852. Our dear daughter, buried before her twelfth birthday, let her soul find the resting place it couldn't have in this world. An unmarked grave. An unmarked grave.
Gordon, coat of arms. That's likely the grave I'm looking for. I need to remove the shrub first. Gardening scissors. I hadn't noticed it before. Damn, it's broken. garbage. A metal wall. I'll take it. Is empty. How do I obtain the fourth key? I can't stop now. I must carry on. May I speak with you? Sure. Tell me, the old graveyard at the back of the sanatorium, has it always been administered by Ashbury? Yes, as far as I know, it has belonged to Ashbury for at least the past hundred years. And before that? Prior to that, it was part of the Wormhill Parish, I believe. But as I said, that was a very long time ago. Thank you. That's enough. So, the old graveyard was administered by the Warnhill Parish. Hmm. That's all. Thanks.
Father Frederick. Yes? Can I speak with you? Certainly, my son. I am listening. I need to research one of my ancestors. Can you help me? I would be happy to help you. But... I sense that something is troubling you. Would you like to discuss it? You would relieve your soul. Believe me. You are kind, Father. But I have come for a different reason. I promise. I will return again when I have finished what I must. Very well, then. What do you require from a servant of the Lord? I need to figure out where the remains of Lothar Gordon are preserved. I suspect there might be a record of it in the Chronicle of the Parish. Hmm. Our chronicles reach far into the past. I believe I should be able to find the information you need. Please, come back later. It's going to take me a while to locate the record. Thank you, Father. Father, I need to talk to you. Yes, go ahead. You have returned just in time, Samuel. I found the record you need in the Chronicle. Lothar Gordon was the father of Thomas Gordon, who was the father of William. His remains were buried near Ashbury, as per his last wishes. In Ashbury. After some time, however, his body was cremated and transferred into one of your family tombs in the graveyard of the vicarage. That is where it is resting now. Thanks, Father. You have been a great help. You need not thank me. I am happy to have a look at the Chronicles. in the crypt. I won't be messing with his toolbox. Is anyone there? Who's there this late at night? Is it you? What are you doing here? I know this is not exactly the right hour to take a walk around the graves, but I have my reasons. Yeah, you've probably got some real good reasons. I'm looking for Lothar Gordon's remains, and this is the last possible place. I would like to have a look inside. It won't take long. No, I won't let you in at this time. I've got my work to finish. Come by tomorrow and you can spend however long you want inside. I have to finish my work, so I'll be going back to it. Hold on. We can certainly find a way to settle this. I'm listening. You can go down and see if you can find the urn for me. It's very important, and you won't lose out on it. Let me get this straight. You come to a cemetery after midnight to dig up an urn in the tomb of some ancestor of yours and you will pay me to help you find it. Exactly. It's got to be very important indeed as far as I can tell. 
the hell with it. I'll go and find it for free. So, whose urn is it that you want? Lothar Gordon's. It must be somewhere in the crypt. Okay. Wait here. It's going to take me a while to find it. Sure. You were right. I found it. Here you are. Now I've got to get back to work. You've cost me a lot of time already. I would still like to go to bed today. I'll leave you to your work. Good. The sooner I get to my bed, the better. Just one more key left. Williams, there's only one way to obtain it. I fear the thought, but I have no choice. I must finish what I have begun. God forgive me. The flashlight might come in handy in this darkness. Is it I am saying? The ground hasn't hardened yet. What is it I am saying? It's too dark. I can't see anything in there. Nothing's carved in the cross. It's too dark. I can't see anything in there. A shovel is lying on the heap.
got to get rid of the gravedigger fast. Peg is holding the door open. holding the metal door open. He won't be getting out easily. Forgive me, William. I had to do it. Fifth key, the last one. the vicarage. Victoria? Hmm. I'll have a look in the church. That was Bates. What is he doing here? Why did he go to the confessional in such a hurry? I must find out somehow. Someone is coming. Most likely Father Frederick. I heard footsteps a minute ago. Did someone come in before you? I didn't see anyone. You must have heard me. Hmm. Perhaps you were right. Is there some way I can help you? No, Father. Thank you. In that case, I will depart. by a terrible secret. I know who has caused all this evil. I know who killed those people. I can no longer bear keeping this secret to myself, so I must confess. I saw him sneaking through the night, covered by the darkness. His palms, they were stained with blood. A terrible sight. I hid quickly so that he would not see me. When I briefly looked into his face, I was stunned with awe. I still have his expression before my eyes. All this time, I remained silent. I could not tell anyone. They would not believe me anyway. Even I would not believe it if I had not seen his face with my own eyes. I am afraid of pronouncing his name, Father. Do go on, son. 
I know the devil has many faces. That night, I saw one of them. The face was that of the Lord of Castle Black Mirror, the youngest of the family, Samuel Gordon. That must be the hair of the murderer. The murderer has black hair. sins. Forgive me, my lord, for my sins, and give me strength to carry on. Give me strength to stand up to evil and destroy the curse that has harassed my family for so long. Give me strength, my lord. Amen. There's only one way from the quiet areas of the church. I must descend into the depths of the catacombs and destroy the source of evil that has taken over my soul. 